Hey Shrimp people, welcome back to Shrimp Life. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about my orange eye blue tigers. I did a water change two days ago and after that water change I noticed a bunch of female shrimp are, are all buried. Now, this happens in all of my tanks consistently because I do consistent water changes. And today I wanted to discuss the importance of regular water changes when you want to really increase breeding activity and get ultimate breeding results from your shrimp. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I don't change my water, my shrimp are breeding just fine. But I would like to beg to differ with that statement because I don't think that you are reaching your ultimate breeding goals if you're never changing your water. What the water changes do is it increases activity within your shrimp tank, it increases um, breeding activity, it helps with regular molting, and in general, I notice my shrimp are way more active and happy. When the tank water is not changed for a long time, they tend to be more lethargic. There are exceptions to this. Of course, there will always be somebody who has a booming tank of shrimp and they haven't changed the water for ages. There are lots of variables to be considered tank size, size of colony, waste produced, um, just a whole bunch of things. But for me, I noticed that doing water changes just helps the continuous cycle of breeding and babies, so on and so forth. You can do water changes while keeping your tank stable. Keeping a stable tank doesn't mean not doing water changes. A lot of people associate those two things together. Like, oh, I don't do water changes because shrimp like stability. Actually, you're right. They do like stability, but you can do stable water changes. By doing that, you can make sure the temperature in your water change water is the same as your tank. You can make sure that if you're using tap water, it's dechlorinated and or treated with prime. If you're using RO water, you know, it's fine. You just make sure that the water um, is the same temperature. You wanna make sure also that you're not doing a huge water change. If you are not accustomed to doing a good size water change, do what you're comfortable doing. Make any changes in very small increments. Never dramatically change your water change schedule or anything like that. If you have brand new shrimp, they are often more sensitive. They have just traveled and in a lot of cases, those shrimp are also imported. So that would be a case where people notice deaths after water changes because this is just too much for an imported shrimp to handle, traveling multiple times and then getting to your tank and experiencing this flurry of water changing. So that's a time when I would kind of hold back a little bit on doing large or frequent water changes is when you like get brand new blue dream shrimp or brand new imported shrimp. Just be really careful. For me with my established colonies, these shrimp have been in here for a year. All the babies are born in here. A lot of these adults have been born, are, were born in this tank. Maybe I have a couple of the originals somewhere in the back over there. The biggest shrimp are the originals that I got last uh, winter. So I guess what I'm trying to say is water changes are really important if your goal is breeding. It really reduces nitrates. It keeps your shrimp active. Just make sure you're doing it, you know, methodically with forethought nothing too dramatic, nothing too soon. And if you have new shrimp, just be careful and really treat them delicately at first until you know them, until you know your shrimp. See, I know my shrimp, all my established colonies. I'm not afraid to do water changes. I know what works for me and everything I've done, I've done incrementally over time to make sure they can tolerate and accept it. And actually that they actually love it and benefit from it. And guys, I have so many buried females in here now. Maybe you can't see many of them. Um, I counted at least six of them, which is pretty good. There's not too many adults in here right now. So six shrimp times, let's just approximate 25 shrimplets from each. That's 150 babies coming within 30 days from now. That's a lot of babies. So um, the only thing that I'll do to prepare for that is... Uh, not much, I just feed a little bit of powdered food when the babies start, but this tank is mature. I feed foods that break apart easily. I feed foods like snowflake and vegetable pellets and like leaf type pellets like walnut leaf, dandelion, 
mulberry, nettle, or shrimp love these foods. They're definitely natural and good for your shrimp. So that is the video for today. Don't be afraid of water changes, but, but proceed with caution. And yeah, that's my tip for the day. And hope you guys have a great day. See you soon.